Thanks for watching Pack and Peak. Today I'm going to show you guys how to draw some custom routes and set waypoints with All Trails Pro on your computer that you'll be able to use through the app on your phone when you're out on the trails, even when you're offline. Before we get started, you will need to be an All Trails Pro member. Membership is $29.99 for a year and you get a lot of great features. This isn't a review video, so I'm not going to go into all that today, but I will put a link in uh, the description to their website if you want to check out more about that membership. And I hope to have a full review up for you guys soon. We're also going to be using Google Maps, which is free. Just go to map.google.com and I'll also put a link in the description. So once you're logged into All Trails, you're ready to create your new map. So to start, you're going to want to hover over Plan, and you get this little drop-down menu. Go ahead and click on Maps, which is the last option on the list. And on the next screen, you want to click on the blue New Map button that sits right above your list of saved maps. Next, we're going to name our map, and this is something that you can change later on if needed. So we'll click OK, and this is going to take us to our new map page. You'll see that nothing's really changed in the interactive map area or over on our sidebar menu. They've really only provided the name that we just created and other than that there's really not much information available to us. That's because we still need to put our location for our trailhead in the map. There's a few ways that you can do this. Uh, you can zoom in and drag around on the map until you find your trailhead. And if you know the area really well, that may not take you too long. But if you're new to the area and it's somewhere that you're visiting, uh, that can take some time. So All Trails has also provided a couple options to narrow it down. And one of them is to search by a nearby city or park. And this can be a great option if you're going somewhere within a national forest or near a state park. Uh, but if you're going somewhere that's not as well known and it's more local, there's a chance that it's not going to be on this list. And actually the place that we're going today is not on here. So the other option that's available to us and actually more accurate is um, the ability to plug in some coordinates with latitude and longitude. So we're going to use Google Maps to get those. So we'll just enter our location name or address into the Google Maps search bar and then click enter or choose our location from the drop down. Now this will zoom into our location on a map and you'll see that Google's provided some information on the sidebar menu here but we still don't have those coordinates that we're looking for so we just have one more step to get those. Go ahead and single click into the map area and then hover your cursor as close as you can to the waypoint that Google's provided for the location and then you're just going to single click again. A gray temporary waypoint should appear on your map and you'll also see a little box pop up at the bottom of the page as well. Within that box you'll see the coordinates that we need to plug into all trails. So go ahead and right click each of these. Um, you'll notice that it does not copy that negative sign for the longitude so just make sure to enter that when you're pasting it into all trails. Once our coordinates are entered, we'll click Submit, and then we'll be taken to that same exact spot on the map in All Trails. I know this area well, so I know that I come right down this road here and park in the parking lot near the trailhead. So now it's time to draw our map. To get started, we'll just click on the blue Draw Route button in the sidebar menu, and then we're going to choose a color for our route. Once you've chosen a color, you'll see that the cursor changes from a pointer to a little crosshair symbol, and that means that it's time to choose a starting point for our route along the trail. You'll want to make your starting point one of these little red boxes just due to the autocomplete feature within all trails. Once you've chosen a starting point, you'll see that it's already started to build out our route along the trail. The green marker represents the beginning of your route and the black marker represents the end and it will continue to move out along the trail until we've completed our route. The autocomplete feature will typically cover the entire length of a trail until it meets a junction or a trailhead of some sort. So if you're wanting to turn around in the middle of a trail for some reason, you're able to pull back that black marker by clicking and holding on the marker and then dragging that back along the trail that you've built out to the desired stopping point. Keep in mind you won't be able to drag your marker back forward so if you're looking to continue building out the trail, you'll just need to continue clicking as you were before. So first I'll show you guys how to quickly create an out and back route. So instead of clicking back along the route that we just created until we reach the starting point, 
We can go over here to our sidebar menu and you'll see that AllTrails has provided a few different map building options to choose from. All we need to do is click on the blue out and back button and you'll see that the black marker is removed from our turnaround point and is now at the starting point of the route. Now that starting point, instead of showing just green, will show half green and half black, representing the beginning and end points of our route. You can double check that your route is correct by hovering over the line graph below the map and dragging your mouse from left to right. So let's say instead of an out and back route, I want to go right at that little fork on the way back to my starting point. All we need to do is press undo a couple times to bring our black marker back to our turnaround point, and then we'll just continue clicking up the trail as we were before until the black marker is near the starting point. What we'll do from here is just zoom in a little bit and hover over that starting point until it shows half green and half black, and then go ahead and click to complete your route. Now I'll show you how to take your route off trail, creating a nice little digital breadcrumb for yourself. So let's say I want to head north a little bit to a little clearing that I know about up here by the water. All I have to do is hold down the shift key to activate free draw mode. And while holding the shift key, left click and hold with your mouse and drag to the desired end point. Once you've reached your end point, you can release your mouse and the shift key. And from there, we can either continue building our route or we can go over to our sidebar menu here and choose out and back. And you'll see that it just builds the trail back along our custom drawn route and the route along the trail as well. Once you've completed drawing your route, you'll just wanna make sure to click save in your sidebar menu. And next, I'll show you guys how to create a custom waypoint on your map. Creating custom waypoints is another quick, user-friendly process that I use a ton in AllTrails Pro. So I'm going to put a waypoint down here in an area that looks out over the waterfall because I know it's a great photo spot. So on the sidebar menu, you just need to scroll down and click on Waypoints. On the Waypoints menu, click on Add. Once you click Add, you'll see a little purple marker appear on the map. You can click and hold this marker and drag it to wherever you want to place your waypoint. Waypoints will provide coordinates and also give us the option to provide a name and even a little description to refer to out on the trail. There's also a checkbox to choose whether or not to show the waypoint name on the map. And once you've entered everything, you'll just want to click save and that waypoint will be included on the map with your drawn route. Once our route is drawn and our waypoints are created, we just want to make sure that we've got everything saved. And then you'll see that we have a few options for printing and sharing. We're also able to apply a few different overlays and layers to our map. And in the sidebar menu, our stats now show the distance and elevation gain for our new route. We also have the ability to download the GPX file to upload to another GPS unit or website for sharing. So now I can click on Explore More Maps to be taken back to my main maps page, and you'll see that my newly created map is at the top of the list. So the last thing I'll show you is how to access this new map through the All Trails app on your phone so that you can utilize it out in the field, even when you're offline. So on your phone, you'll need to download the All Trails app and log into your account. There's not going to be an additional charge for the app itself. Once you've logged into your account, Click on the plan button with the little heart at the bottom of the screen. Next, click on the drop down menu at the top of the screen and you should see maps at the bottom of the list. Click on maps and you'll see the same list that you had on your computer with your new map at the top. So this route can be used as is just by clicking on it and opening it up. And if you've got good service and there should be no issues. But oftentimes service isn't the best out on the trails, so I highly recommend downloading your map for offline use. And to do that is simple, just click the little blue arrow in the corner of the map that you wish to download, and you'll have the choice to download eight different layers. I personally use the All Trails and OCM layers, but as a pro member you do have access to all of these. Go ahead and click the blue download area in each of the layers that you wish to download. And once those buttons fill with green, you're ready to go and you'll be able to access these routes for offline use out on the trails. You'll also have the ability to share this route with your friends, upload photos to the map, open Apple directions to the trailhead, 
load the route into your recorder, and edit the route. And that's how to draw custom routes and create waypoints in All Trails Pro. I hope that this video was helpful for anyone looking to get the most out of their All Trails Pro membership and maybe those thinking of making the jump from the free app to the paid membership. If this video helped you out, please give it a like below. Don't forget to subscribe to keep up with more outdoors related how to and review videos. Follow me on Instagram and Facebook at Pack and Peak. And as always, thanks for watching. Happy trails.